England will face new restrictions from tomorrow, the 30th of November, to try to slow the spread of the virus. As the new COVID variant sparked worldwide concern, stricter border controls and travel restrictions are being reintroduced in England as a response to the latest variant of concern. In this video, we talk about the UK's updated red list and the travel restrictions to be imposed. Find out if travel is still possible. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by I am. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. England has added 10 Southern African countries to their red list and will reintroduce PCR tests and self-isolation until travelers receive a negative result. The return of the red list comes after the Omicron variant was detected in South Africa and Botswana. There are currently reported cases of the variant in the UK, the Netherlands, Germany, South Africa, Hong Kong, and Botswana. Travelers arriving from South Africa and nine other Southern African nations will now have to quarantine on arrival in the UK. A further four countries were added to the list from the last announcement. From Sunday the 28th of November, arrivals from red list countries will have to go straight into quarantine in government mandated hotels. The countries added to the red list are Angola, Botswana, Eswatini, Lesotho, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Only British, Irish nationals, and individuals who have residence rights in the UK can enter England from red listed countries. Day 2 PCR tests for everyone entering the UK will be reintroduced on the 30th of November, and all arrivals will need to self-isolate until they receive a negative test result. And all contacts of new variant cases will have to self-isolate for 10 days, even if fully vaccinated. But Boris Johnson said, Christmas would be considerably better than in 2020. The measures were temporary and precautionary, he added. The UK Prime Minister said, the new measures would be reviewed in three weeks, by which time they should have better information about the continuing effectiveness of vaccines. However, the PCR test and quarantine requirement will not apply to the common travel area, which covers travel between Britain, the island of Ireland, the Isle of Man, and the Channel Islands. The Minister for Foreign Affairs, Simon Coveney, confirmed no COVID-19 test or quarantine is required if traveling within the common travel area and not outside of the common travel area in the previous 10 days. Prime Minister Boris Johnson said that face coverings will become mandatory again in shops and on public transport across England. The Prime Minister also said that plans for the booster jab for vaccines, for those who are double vaccinated, will be stepped up. We don't yet exactly know how effective our vaccines will be against Omicron, but we have good reasons for believing they will provide at least some measure of protection, Johnson said. What are your thoughts on this issue? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, 
Check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.